The port boom is undamaged, and so, of course, are all the port side components. If we remove the starboard wing and attach it to the port boom and perform a similar operation on the tailplane, you'll see that we'll have the basis of uh, an entirely new and aerodynamically sound structure. Is that understood? Oh, absolutely. We need only to uh, clear the port engine of the sand that choked it in flight. The Kaufman starter is serviceable. And uh, we should have no difficulty starting up the engine. And if we don't waste too much fuel on signals to Captain Harris, who is unlikely to be in any condition to benefit from them, we shall have enough of that as well. Now, most of the hydraulic fluid has leaked away, but I have worked out direct rut and cable control, so that is no problem. All right, now, what are you going to use for an undercarriage? Our last landing rendered the undercarriage unserviceable. However, there's enough H section in the cargo monorail and hull engines to make up a skid cradle for takeoff. Skid cradle? Uh, well, uh, skis, Mr. Moran. Skis. In order to take off, we shall have to move the final structure to the valley beyond that far dune. The surface there should be adequate. Now, now, as to whether it will fly, as far as the general design factors are concerned, there are no special problems. The center of gravity will uh, allow us to distribute the payload, that means ourselves, on both wings. Now, wait a minute. Are you suggesting we string people on the top of that wing like so many sacks of potatoes? They'll be behind fairings, of course. Never mind about the fairing. We got an injured man in there. The doctor says he can't even be moved. Now, we... But you, you're suggesting we tack them onto this thing and bounce them around like a wrangler in a rodeo? That is not what I had in mind, Mr. Towns. With the material and personnel available, this project would require at least 12 days. How long did you say Mr. Scanati might be expected to live? Six days? Perhaps less. See? The problem does not even arise. Mr. Scanati will remain here. Oh, you really are a miserable... Even with the man on them, the wing loading is going to be half that of the sky truck. Because we shall leave the hull, starboard boom, undercarriage, and so on and so on, on the ground. Now, any more questions? Yeah. Yeah, I have a few. Now, let's see if I've got this straight. You're just going to unzip that starboard wing and lift it up all the way over from the other side and tag it onto this port boom, is that correct? Well, yes. The tapers will be, of course, the wrong way, but... The tapers? Forget about the tapers. You know what that wing weighs? It estimated it's something just over a ton. Not just about right. Now, there are eight of us. Do you think you can lift 250 pounds, Mr. Dorfman? We use wedges and levers, Mr. Towns. There's also a winch, and we can construct an A-frame. All right. We'll have levers and wedges, and we'll throw in a winch. And... Look, this bunch is living on press dates with a sip of water every once in a while. In a couple of days from now, nobody's going to have the strength to do anything around here. That is a very good point. The heavy work will need to be done first. The wing will have to be moved tonight. Tonight? Yes. I've worked out a simple winding gear for use with the starboard generator, which will keep the batteries charged and provide adequate lighting. I see no other immediate problems. Unless you have some more questions, I still have some calculations to make. Oh, I thought it was all cut and dried. You mean you have a few little things you haven't figured out yet, huh? Well, naturally, I discontinued my work when you decided to embark on your romantic search for Mr. Cobb. We do need a pilot on this project, Mr. Towns, and frankly, I considered your chances of survival quite remote. However, now that you're with us again, I can complete my calculations. I see no insoluble problems. Well, I'll give you one. Now, you say building this thing of yours will take 12 days. Well, that's just fine. If we're real lucky, we just have enough water to last another 10. We also have several gallons of antifreeze. We can distill enough of that to provide for another four or five days. But certainly, I agree, water will be a critical factor. Well, so we, maybe we'll all be dead before you finish this thing of yours, and maybe we won't, but that's what you call a critical factor. Oh, now, let me tell you something that makes nonsense out of this whole thing. Please do. And I'm not going to give you the old veteran flyer routine, Mr. Dorfman, but I just want you to know that I've been flying for quite some time now, and it hasn't always been for crummy outfits like this one. 
I'm sure you've had a very colorful career, Mr. Downs, but that's not quite the point. All right, you know a whole lot more than I do about aerodynamics and drag coefficients and stress factors. Okay, okay, your theory's fine, but you get this, mister. That engine's rated at 2,000 horsepower, and if I was ever fool enough to let it get started, it'd shake your patched up pile of junk into a thousand pieces and cut us up in the mince meat with the propeller. I told you there would be no difficulty building this aeroplane. I also told you it would require an outstanding pilot to fly it. The only thing outstanding about you, Mr. Towns, is your stupidity! What a dear smash! Easy, easy. What did you put? You want me to throw a conniption fit with those drawings of his? Say, say he's some kind of a genius or something? What good would that do when I know the damn thing could never fly? Excuse me, Captain, but perhaps... Perhaps there is one other thing. The way it is now, some of these men may not last as long as the water. But they need to believe that there is hope for them. I don't know, Mr. Towns, but maybe to build a thing like this would be a lot of help. So we prove it can't fly and get killed in the process, is that it? What are you giving us, Doc? This is hard work. These men can't stand hard work. Watching each other die could be even harder.